Hey everybody, welcome back to Live Free and Toulon. Today I have something pretty cool for you. This is an airless sprayer from Top Check. They sent it to me because they wanted me to test it out. Now in my testing and when I review tools, I'm always honest with them. So let's go ahead and jump into it. This is how it was sent to me. It was sent to me in uh, different pieces. So we're gonna go ahead and throw it together and then we'll look at some of the features. So it just goes in, slides in, curls up, it locks into, into place. You can see right here, pull the trigger. It actually is a pretty good looking tool. Um, I noticed on the bottom it does have foam, so it's a nice sit down. Then you have, oh, sorry, then you actually have the pickup tube that slides right into the bottom here. And this just pushes right into place and the foam seal keeps it there. So we're gonna put the bottle on the bottom of it. Now let's take a look at the nozzle. Um, if you look right here, we actually, it came with three different nozzles. And this is really nice because it came with a 2.5, a, uh, I believe this is a 1.0, and this is a 1.8 right here. Now these are actually the pins that go inside of the nozzles. And how that works is you take the pin, you screw it in right here just like this, Then you slide your nozzle right on top of it. And then this is where your air comes out. So the deflector where the air comes out. So it goes in, we take the retainer nut, put it on, and then this spins this way, and then it spins this way. And that's the orientation of the spray as it gives the blade of the spray itself. So let's take a look at this side. You actually have a knob, and as you can see, when you go this way, it's negative. When you go this way, it's positive. And what that means is that when you go negative, that's more of a stream and a rounded edge uh, and a uh, round stream that actually comes out from the gun. If you do this, this is more of an oval, and that's when you're gonna get that span or the blade whenever you're spraying. So when you look at the trigger right here, you can spin this nut right here. You can spin it up or down. And what that does is it allows you to only spray so much because this trigger right here is pressure sensitive because the further you go in, the more paint you're gonna get out. If we take a look at the back of it right here, this is actually where you store these extra two nozzles and pins. So we're gonna put that back there just like that. We're gonna put this right over top of it snaps into place we'll put this one here too just like so snaps into place that's actually really cool that you can have that uh, this did actually come with a shoulder strap too I'm not using that but it did come with a hanger so you can hang it this is cool and then this is a feature that I haven't seen um, on any of the other tools it has an LED that comes up. So as an LED that can articulate, it turns on, it actually gives a really nice even light. So it's just an on and off, but you can face it up, down, indirect. You can leave it on board right here, whatever you need to do. That's actually really cool that they put that feature on there and it works really well. Now, I was really surprised with the performance. Now, typically when I get people that request, you know, new tool companies that want me to test their tools, I'm cautiously optimistic. But with this, this actually did a really good job. Now, if you, it gives you instructions on how that you can actually use this, how it's supposed to be used with steady streams going back and forth, but it gave a really nice even coat. So it did really well when I was painting. Now, you do have to thin the paint and they give you the charts whenever you gotta thin the paint too and it gives you a little measuring cup and then you can time it when it goes out. But um, I can say that this did the job very well. It didn't clog, it didn't have any issues. And one of the great things about it is that when you need to clean it up, well, it's actually really easy to clean up. It comes apart really easily and then it goes back together really easily. I can say that um, it was really nice, it felt good in the hand, um, and it actually feels like a really solid tool. It feels like it was designed and it was built pretty well. Um, another little feature, and I don't, you know, just, just me, it's the little things that count. This is actually a rubber molded knob, so it has rubber over molding on it, so it has really good grip. Um, so I thought that was a really good feature. I think that the whole design of it, how it looks all the way around, is just a pretty attractive tool itself. 
And in the United States where I'm at, this runs off of 120 volts at 60 hertz, and it runs really well. So, anyways, I hope that this helped your all's decision making if you're looking for an airless paint sprayer. If it did, hey, go down, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and uh, I hope to see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.